One of the most frequently asked questions I get about my W210 is where I got my black grill. And there's actually a very simple answer to this question. This grill is the grill that came on my car. It used to be chrome. I had it painted black and it's not just any black. If you take a close look, it is 040 black, which is the body color of my W210. So it is actually color matched to the body of the car, which I think really makes it stand out. It looks really good. And color matching grills to the car was actually pretty common on pre-merged AMGs from the 80s and 90s. It went away in the mid to late 90s as Mercedes and AMG merged. And it was a kind of an optional thing too not every single car would have the grill color match i just think it looks really good and that's not the only thing color match on this car i had my last set of side markers color matched the wheels are color matched all the window trim is color matched this was something that was very common on pre-merger amgs and i think it still looks good on modern cars i could have taken this a step further by totally deleting all the chrome i could have fully color matched the door handles which still has chrome on the top i could have color matched all the chrome on the side and kind of same story here with the center caps they are painted so they don't come in 040 black i had them painted you can't really buy these anywhere you just have to get them painted by someone which is my next point i had a professional body shop paint this i am no professional painter getting results like this will be difficult in a garage and anyone that knows what this grill is it's made out of plastic and it's chrome so it's not exactly the easiest thing to paint so there are certain primers and adhesive promoters that you have to use to make it work and this grill will not last forever it gets chipped up pretty easily it will wear out over time and you will need to get it repainted it's not necessarily the cheapest thing in the world to do although it is not super expensive either but if you really want a gloss black grill just get it painted have it done by professional it will look good and hopefully last as long as possible if you daily drive your car you'll definitely get chipped up pretty quick here i have a couple of grills that were just recently painted by my local painter i'll put his info down below if you're a local to orange county he does amazing work and he did these two grills so these two grills were painted very recently and then the grill on my car was painted back in 2017 from a different person if we take a close look color match is pretty much spot on I cannot tell a color difference in person. So when you have decent paint, it's easy to color match. If your paint is tired, it probably won't match, especially if it's faded. So just keep that in mind. So here we have a fresh facelift grill and a fresh pre-facelift grill. So this grill used to be overall black as well. However, it was painted pretty poorly. It had way more texture. And I'll show you that later in the video, but right now there's very little orange peel. I would say it matches what the car would have and the clarity is really good. And if we get a close up, everything is nice. There are no chipped edges, nothing like that. This is pretty much as perfect as this grill will get. So what will these grills look over time? Well, let's take a look at mine. This has quite a bit of wear on it. So we'll see it's chipping right here. It's starting to peel off. You'll see the chrome underneath, like I said, this grill's not really meant to be painted, so it's gonna peel over time no matter what you do. And then if we take a closer look, there are some chips over here. That's just what happens when you drive it. You could apply some paint protection film to prevent that, but I don't know if shops are gonna to wanna to do that. And this is really not a bad piece to just kind of swap out. And we'll also notice that the insert is painted as well. So it's not just a frame, it's a frame and insert together. So if you don't really have a budget for painting your grill, there are a couple of alternatives. One of which that I did way back in the day was plastic dipping my grill. I plastic dipped it the center black color and it didn't look too bad. I'll insert some pictures. I did spray it initially with just a plain black. And then of course that looks a little dull. It's matte, it's not glossy. I added some glossifier, which of course it won't look this glossy but it was better than what it was before and i ran with that for probably about a year maybe more and it didn't look too bad it still kind of has the same problems as this it will get chipped up but it's a little bit more durable honestly it does not look as good as this in my opinion so that's why i removed that and the benefit of plastic dip is that it's really cheap i think i spent less than 40 bucks on everything and it is easily removable if you do it right so that's definitely a decent option for a lot of people Another thing I've seen pop up recently on eBay are aftermarket grills for this car. And most of them are just generally chrome, but I have seen one that is black, but it is matte black. And it's actually reasonably priced. I think it is less than $200 for an entire grill. So if you don't mind it not being glossy, that is definitely an option. And I will link that below for those that are interested. So there's definitely a lot of options here. You could totally try to paint this yourself. If you know what you're doing, go ahead and go for it. If you don't have the proper tools and equipment and the correct primers and paints, I would advise against it because they'll probably look worse than it is stock. This is definitely a personal preference thing. I know some people still prefer the chrome but i like a color match i think it looks really good so here are two grills of varying qualities of paint so we'll look at the top one right here this is a grill off the brabus e65 so this is painted well over 15 years ago and i have no idea who did it but if we could look at the texture it's really heavy on the orange peel you can see the reflection the clarity is not that great of course there's a couple of chips on here because this does wear over time that's just something you cannot avoid unless you get some paint protective film over it and of course this one might be a little difficult to do that because of the harsh ridges but it may still be possible and there's a slight color difference between the actual frame of the grill and the insert inside which is the piece that goes underneath this grill is modular so you can take the strips out which are the chrome pieces and separate it from the insert so it can 
see the insert, the clarity is much better than the frame of the grill. So this grill was definitely not the highest quality job, but it's still honestly kind of decent. It's really hard to tell the low quality of the paint until you get up really close to it. And like I said, this does tend to chip, so it'll show the chrome underneath, which is unfortunate, but that's just how these grills work. There's no work around that. And over time, you'll see that the paint will wear off. So this is definitely a wear item. You will probably have to get this sprayed every couple years, depending on how much you drive it. But overall, I still think it looks really nice. So here is a fresh facelift grill. We can see just how much clearer that reflection is. So this is pretty much as clear as the insert is. And the insert on this was painted, but is as clear as the factory insert right here. So I'll try to show you what the factory unpainted insert looks like versus the paint on the facelift grill. We'll see that the clarity of the reflection is pretty similar. The camera might have a little hard time focusing on it, but it is really clear on this facelift piece that was painted. So really happy with the quality of this work. Of course, this is fresh, so there's zero chips on it. But of course, over time, as I drive it unprotected, it will get chipped up and I will have to get it resprayed. All right, so here's the Brabus E65 and here we have the fresh grill. It's kind of hard to tell under these fluorescent lights and this grill's a little dirty, but in person, the color match looks spot on. So let's go ahead and put it on. All right, here is the grill installed on the car. And it's actually not too bad of a difference between the fresh paint and the older paint on the car. In fact, under most circumstances, you probably won't even be able to see it because the grill is not gonna be facing up like this. That's just what you're gonna get with fresh paint versus paint with more oxidation on it. But overall, from a normal viewing angle, it's pretty much a spot on color match. I think it's pretty much as close as you're gonna get between old paint and new paint. It's definitely possible to freshen up the old paint to match better. This of course has a tiny bit of swirls and this paint's fresh. So over time when this wears in, it will probably match much better. But right now it's really brand new. So it's gonna look a little different, but that's not something to be too concerned about. It's pretty much impossible to tell there's a color difference. And taking a look at the clarity of reflections between the hood and the grill, they are pretty similar. So I'm pretty happy with the texture of the paint. It's much better than before. I'll try to insert some clips of what it looked like before. It's definitely not as clear and a little bit blurry. So definitely more orange peel on the previous paint job. And then here is the E60 AMG. This car has the frame of the grill painted body color and then the insert is left black, just a factory avant-garde black. And the grill was painted the same time as the front end was, so the paint match is pretty much spot on. The only difference you really see is just based on because it's on a chrome piece of plastic versus the metal of the hood. But overall, you're really not gonna be able to tell much of a difference. So this is a little different style. You're just having the frame and all the slats painted and the insert not painted. This is also very reminiscent of the pre-merger AMG styling, which I think also looks really good. So we'll see that the clarity of the reflection in the grill is pretty much the same as the other one. So there's only so much you can do with this type of surface. And I think this is where it maxes out and it still looks really good. I don't think you'll be able to get it as clear as glass, but cars have orange peel. That's just normal. I hope you found this video helpful. If you have any questions, please feel free to leave them below and thank you for watching.